हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न वर्नर्स कोऑर्डिनेशन थ्योरी एंड अलोंग विद दैट वी हैव स्टडीड इफेक्टिव एटॉमिक नंबर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी आइसोमेरिज्म इन कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स 1 फॉर सिंपलिसिटी आइसोमेरिज्म इन कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स What is isomerism? The compounds which have same chemical composition but differ in properties are called as isomers and this phenomenon is called as isomerism. There are basically two types of isomerism in coordination compounds. The first type is called as structural isomerism and the second is called as stereo or space isomerism. In structural isomerism there are various types. The first is conformation isomerism. The second is ionization isomerism the third is hydrate isomerism fourth coordination isomerism fifth linkage isomerism sixth coordination position isomerism seventh is ligand isomerism eighth is polymerization isomerism these are the various types which are included in the structural isomerism in case of stereo isomerism the first is geometrical isomerism and second is optical isomerism in this video we will study structural isomerism and in the next video we will study stereo isomerism let's start with conformation isomerism whenever we study conformation isomerism we have to look for different geometries for example in this complex the nickel is the central metal atom there are two bromine atoms as ligands then there are two ligands of phosphorus ethyl diphenyl molecules now this complex can have two types of geometries one is called as square planar geometry or it can have other geometry as tetrahedral if it is square planar geometry it is diamagnetic in nature if it has a tetrahedral geometry then it will be paramagnetic in nature these two complexes which have same formula but they have different geometries one is square planar and one is tetrahedral they differ in geometries they differ in conformation therefore this type is called as conformation isomerism Let's move to the second type that is ionization isomerism. Ionization isomers differ in exchange of anions. Let's consider two examples. In the first example the sulfate ion is outside the square bracket and in the second example bromide ion is outside the square bracket. The first complex is reddish violet in color whereas second has a red color. The first complex when it is added to the water it will get dissociated as CONH3 5 bromide plus SO4 2 minus ion whereas the second complex will get dissociated as cobalt NH3 5 sulfate plus bromide ion now how to find out these two complexes dissociate differently in the first case if this solution is tested with barium chloride solution a white color precipitate of barium sulfate will be formed whereas in the second case if it is treated with silver nitrate solution it will give yellow precipitate of AgBr The two different colored precipitates indicates there are different ions which are associated outside the square bracket as a primary ionization sphere. This type of complexes are called as ionization isomerism where the ions outside the square bracket or in the primary ionization sphere get exchanged. Let's move to the next type of structural isomerism, hydrate isomerism. As the name says hydrate isomerism, they differ in exchange of water molecules. Let's take three examples. In the first case there are no water molecules in the primary ionization sphere. In the second case there is one molecule and in the third case there are two molecules in the primary ionization sphere. The first complex is violet in color, the second is greenish in color and the third is bluish green in color. All these complexes when they are treated with silver nitrate solution The first complex gives 3 molecules of AgCl that is the white precipitate of 3 molecules of AgCl. The second gives 2 molecules of AgCl and the third gives 1 molecule of AgCl. In this way all three complexes they differ in formation of the quantity of silver chloride when they are treated with the same silver nitrate solution. It indicates there are different number of chloride ions outside the square bracket. which in turn different number of water molecules in the primary ionization sphere 
This type is called as hydrate isomerism. Let's move to the next type of structural isomerism, coordination isomerism. As the name says coordination, it differs in exchange of coordination sphere. Ionization and hydrate isomerism, they differ in primary ionization sphere, whereas the coordination isomerism differ in secondary non-ionization sphere. Here also we will take two examples. In the first case, we can see that ammonia molecules are associated with cobalt and cyanide molecules are associated with chromium. In the second case, ammonia molecules are associated with chromium, whereas cyanide molecules are associated with cobalt. In both these cases, the overall formula of the coordination compounds are same, but they differ in the coordination, the way in which the ammonia and cyanide ions are associated with cobalt or chromium. Let's have one more example. In the first case, all four ammonia molecules are associated with one platinum and all four chloride atoms are associated with other platinum. In the coordination isomer of this complex, we'll have one chloride and three ammonia molecules with one platinum and three chloride and one ammonia molecule with other platinum. This is called as coordination isomerism. Let's move to the next part of structural isomerism, linkage isomerism. In one of my earlier videos, we have studied ambidented ligands. If you have not watched that video, click on the above link and please watch various types of ligands associated with the central metal atom. The way in which the atom of the ambidentate ligand is attached to the central metal atom gives rise to an isomerism known as linkage isomerism. Let's see some examples of ambidentate ligands. In the first example, these are called as nitro or nitrito. If the coordination is from the nitrogen, it is called as nitro group. If the coordination is from the oxygen, it is called as nitrito group. Let's have an example for this. In the first case, the cobalt is associated with the nitrogen from the NO2 group. In the second case, the cobalt is associated with the oxygen of the nitrito group. These two are the examples of linkage isomerism. Let's have one more example, cyano and isocyano. If the coordination is from the carbon, it is called as cyano group. And if the coordination is from the nitrogen, it is called as isocyano group. These are the examples of linkage isomerism. Let's move to the next one. It is coordination position isomerism. It refers to the placement of non-bridging ligands. Let's have an example for this. In the first example, look at the position of 6 ammonia molecules and 2 chloride molecules. If the position of these molecules or ions is exchanged, keeping the bridging ligands as same as that. This results into a coordination position isomerism. Here, a one chloride atom is shifted from one chromium atom to other chromium atom. The first one is unsymmetrical in nature, whereas the second is symmetrical in nature. Let's move to the next type, ligand isomerism. As the name says ligand, it refers to the attachment of isomeric ligands to the central metal atom. Let's have an example for this from propylene molecule. If the double bond of this propylene molecule is broken and two ammonia molecules are added to the isomers of the propylene in such a way that in the first case it results into 1,2-diaminopropane whereas in the second case it results into 1,3-diaminopropane. 1,2-diaminopropane is also called as propylene diamine PN whereas 1,3-diaminopropane is also called as trimethylene diamine or TN. In case of propylene diamine, the coordination will be from these two nitrogen atoms which are very close to each other. In case of trimethylene diamine, the coordination will be from nitrogen atoms which are slightly away from each other compared to 1,2-diaminopropane. Let's see how these two ligands gets attached to the central metal atom. In the first case, the cobalt atom is at the center and there are two chloride atoms which are cis to each other. 1,2-diaminopropane gets attached in this fashion. If it is 1,3-diaminopropane, the cobalt atom is at the center, there are two chloride atoms and 1,3-diaminopropane gets attached to the central metal atom in this fashion. These two can also be presented in this fashion also. This is called as abbreviated form, PN stands for 1,2-diaminopropane and TN stands for 1,3-diaminopropane. As these two complexes, they differ in the isomers of the ligand itself. It is called as ligand isomerism. Let's move to the next type of structural isomerism. It is polymerization isomerism. 
Let's see an example for this. In this table, we can see that in the first case, there is one chromium atom, three ammonia molecules and three nitro molecules. In the second case, there are two chromium atoms, six ammonia molecules and six nitro molecules. In the third case, there is one chromium atom, six ammonia molecules and six nitro molecules. In the last case, there are five chromium atoms, 15 ammonia molecules and 15 nitro molecules. In all these cases, there are different number of chromium atoms, different number of ammonia molecules and nitro molecules, but the ratio of chromium is to ammonia is to nitro is 1 is to 3 is to 3. They have same ratio of metal and ligand, but they have different structures of different polymers of the coordination compounds. These are all types of structural isomerism. In the second part of the isomerism in coordination compounds, we will study stereoisomerism. If you like my video, click on like, do share and subscribe my channel. If you want to mention something or ask something, mention it in the comment box. Also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry. Thank you.